For the following functions, um, these are things that we really need to know pretty much off the top of your head. Now, there are going to be nine functions, and these are called the library of functions. So, uh, we're going to talk to you about their name, their general equation, and what they look like graphically. You need to know all three of these. So, given one piece of information, you should be able to um, know the other two pretty much automatically. So what I would highly suggest would be to make flashcards of these and just drill yourself until you absolutely know them backwards and forwards. Alright, our first function is the linear function and you actually should have already been very very familiar with this function uh, because you've been working with it for quite a while now. It is just a straight line. Now this function comes in the form of f of x equals mx plus b. Now doesn't that look familiar to something that you've done before? It should because you've graphed y equals mx plus b for quite a while now. So this is just a linear function, a line. Remember that if your m, which is your slope, is positive, then it rises from left to right. If your m value or the slope is negative, then it will be going down from left to right. But when, I'm, when I say that you need to know these, what I mean is, if you are presented with an equation in this form, you need to automatically be thinking in your mind, oh, that's a linear function, it's some sort of a straight line. Or, if you're given a picture of a straight line, you should be thinking automatically, that's a linear function that comes in the form of f of x equals mx plus b. So you have to know all three of those. That's why it's nice to maybe put it on a flash card so you can drill yourself. All right, the next function that you have to know is the constant function. And again, the constant function is one that you should be readily um, familiar with already. <clears throat> the uh, equation of the constant function is f of x equals b. And actually, for our particular graph here, this one is the equation of y equals 4. And remember, f of x is a fancy way of saying y. So it is really when we just say y or f of x equals some number. And that number happens to be the y-intercept. So any horizontal line is considered a constant function, and it has this equation this form of an equation. So you should know all three of those. Alright, the next function is again another one that you should be familiar with already, and that is the identity function. Now the identity function is, again, it's a linear function, but it's a very special type of linear function. It's one that has as its equation f of x equals x. Or remember, uh, f of x being a fancy way of saying y, we've seen it before as y equals x. This is the graph that has points like 1, 1, 4, 4, 6, 6, 8, 8. All of those points where the x value matches the y value, where they are equal to each other. That is the identity function, so you have to know the name the equation, and the picture. All right, our next one is the square function. And we've actually worked with this before, even though we didn't really call it the square function. The equation of this is f of x equals x squared. So that's why it's called the square function. Now there are some very nice points on here that you'll get used to drawing in because you'll be using them so much. Things like 0, 0, um, 2, 4, negative 2, 4. Now we're finding those very quickly because whatever the x value is, we square it to find the y value. So again, you could find several points on here very, very quickly using that. We'll continue with the rest of the library of functions in the next video.